Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, January 8th, 2018. Welcome to all of you. A rainy day in a rainy week here in Santa Rosa. I'm not supposed to smile a lot or laugh a lot for the next two weeks. Very difficult for me to do, but this morning it's a chance for me to talk about the uh, post-surgical noses as you talk about the post-surgical aspects of what was done to me and get down to some of the specifics of that. Well, obviously uh, it's going to be a while before you see uh, before you see your rosy girl in a teeny weeny micro bikini. That's for darn sure there's a lot of healing to be done. Now some people will say yay and some people will say boo, but I will say I'm pretty happy right now that I came out of surgery without any complications to this point. What I want to talk about first is what was uh, specifically done. I had had some fat left over from my first Brazilian butt lift, and remember, I bought an entire package of procedures and part of that package which began in uh, uh, February of 2018 part of that package was a second redo of a Brazilian butt lift on the theory that the second time the fat has a much higher adherence and success rate and viability it lives and uh, aesthetically, it's a much more pleasing result. So I decided to go in and get part two done. I had a lot, not a lot, but I had a, at least one big tube of fat left from the first job that was done in March of 2017. So uh, March of 2018, so the doctor decided to... Uh, to uh, check that out. He didn't like to look at that fat that had been stored, so he decided not to do use that. That's a good thing. Or I would just had, you know, possibly fat that could have uh, caused some problems. So I like the way he did that. Basically, the idea was was to achieve an even more, an uh, even higher degree of feminization, and to do that. His goal was to remove the flaps that kind of hung down after the uh, uh, bikini tuck. Uh, he he made the, uh, the he made the stomach perfect on that, absolutely gorgeous. But in tucking and in making this incision just to here, it gave some of the side skin a chance to uh, to go lower or sag down. So it, it created little flaps on the side. So what he wanted to do was, first of all, remove all the fat from back in the flank area. I don't want to turn too much because the, the, the uh, back of me is just filled with blood on the, um, on the gauze and bleeding through, and I don't, want to, I don't want you guys to have to see that. But he went in there and, uh, using liposuction, removed a lot of fat on the back. And he took that fat and he collected that in a big jar from both sides. And once he had removed the fat he wanted, so I would have a nice uh, contour to my butt down, he put, transferred that to a jar for purification. And then there was some of the blood that was drawn earlier for me, early in the day was mixed in for protein enrichment for that to even give the fat an even better chance to live. I'm talking a little slow today because I'm under the influence of some, uh, a lot, not a lot, but it's pretty good doses of, uh, painkillers because the, the pain is off the charts. Okay. But this it was a lousy night sleeping. Once that fat was all removed, and let me tell you, it's all done under a local anesthesia. That's what makes this doctor unusual. His anesthesia risk is much lower. But on the other side of that, you're wide awake during all the procedures that are being done. You hear every cutting, every sucking noise, every, every surprise in the operating room. And the anesthesia is not perfect given locally. So sometimes you'll be along uh, sucking that fat in with something that looks like a wand with little perforated holes in it. 
and you'll hit right into a bone. And man, let me tell you, that's that ain't no joke when you hit those things once in a while. Luckily, you only get that about 10 or 15 times through the procedure. So he started me off. Uh, he started me off on one side, laying on one side, removed the fat, then laid me on the other side and removed the fat. Had me lay on my stomach, which is quite difficult. My breasts are extremely big, and it wasn't real comfortable to lay face down. And then um, he went ahead and did some more fat removal from the back, laying flat for a sculptured appearance. He wanted to give a dimple in the middle of the back, a couple little dimples there, as uh, females have. And then he turned me over on one side, closed up the, uh, closed up the, uh, uh, sutured up this, uh, this side, then the other side, and finally turned me on my butt and took all that uh, fat and just puffed my uh, butt up tremendously. Everything's all swollen now. But let me tell you, there's a pretty big butt back there, a pretty big, firm, shapely, but so I'm very happy about that. Remember, I used to have a total pancake. Okay, you could rent me out as a griddle for uh, cooking pancakes and eggs in those days. There was quite a bit of fat left over, as he knew it, there would be. So he went in and he did an incredible initial job of additional uh, facial feminization surgery. He put a lot of fat in up here, which lifted my eyes which used to be lower, and they're now lifted up higher. There's still a lot of swelling, injections in the cheek, injections down here and on the side by the uh, ear. And I think that was the thing that astounded people most with the initial uh, yesterday, because there's, you know, all the, uh, all the wrinkles have been removed. And as a couple people said, you know, your face is, it looks like it's feminized 40% more than when you started uh, yesterday. So we'll see how that all, we'll see how that all pans out. I mean, I'm, 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 an, I'm, a, I'm a tomboy. I ain't no Victoria's Secret angel, you know. It's not, it's not so important. <laughs> to, I can't laugh. But I was happy that I had it done. Well, it was a hellish night last night. As you can imagine, trying to find a comfortable position. Uh, so a lot of my time I end up standing uh, all day. I can sit on the seat, but only on the, I can only sit on the front part here. I cannot put any pressure up on here. So I decided to do a lot of hangouts and just kill time because I can't really do any, you know, I started, I came home from the doctor. I got dressed up in my work clothes and was going outside to, to keep working and then Jen, Got real mad because I was uh, up on the ladder getting leaves out. So I've got to kind of take it easy for a couple days, I guess. I mean, she, she's not here now, but she was pretty upset. So, you know, continue to take the painkillers and uh, hang out with you guys. So, so there it is. Woo! I think you can already tell that a lot has been uh, removed. And when all the swelling is down... I think it's going to be a, it ain't going to be no crazy hourglass, but it's going to be an aesthetically very beautiful uh, hourglass figure. So I'm very happy about that and being in, uh, being in good shape and enjoying the rest of my life. So especially getting all this done before I go on the road. Thanks for being along and bearing with me as my mouth is kind of out of gear with my brain here. Thanks to all the wonderful people who sent messages, and there were many, the many friends and supporters on here. I'll be doing quite a few uh, live streams over the next, uh, over the balance of this week. There's not a lot more that I can do. Have a great day, everybody.